All colored veer molds must be primed before they are used. Here we're using ZYP. Shake the can thoroughly, hold the base mold and the can upright about 12 inches apart and spray for about 5 seconds. Spray the lid mold for about 3 seconds. If the mold was brand new, a second coat would be applied. We could fill the mold with brick, billets, scrap glass, or casting rocks. Instead, we are going to use art glass. We cut 25 40 by 20 millimeter tiles and 9 40 by 16 millimeter tiles. See our project sheet for details. We weigh the base mold and make note of the weight on the side of the mold using a pencil. Your mold's weight might differ from the mold used in this demonstration. Evenly distribute 10 to 15 grams of clear medium frit in the bottom of the mold. This will create a level foundation for the tiles. A ring of the larger tiles is added to the mold. The textured side of the glass is facing in towards the center of the mold. We add a second ring of tiles to the mold. This time we alternate between large and small tiles. Additionally, the textured side of the glass faces outwards. Be careful not to scratch off the primer when filling the mold. We add 40 grams of frit to stabilize the tiles. Next, we weigh the partially filled mold to calculate how much additional glass is needed. This simple calculation is described in our project sheet. We complete filling the mold with chunks of double thick clear sheet glass. This is a great way to use up the scrap glass in your studio. The chunks are evenly arranged to hold the tiles in place. The lid mold is filled with a 50-50 mixture of Euroboros Cherry Red Fine Frit and Euroboros Clear Frit. The frit mixture should be made level before firing. See our project sheets for complete firing schedules. After firing, the castings are removed from their molds. Dishwashing liquid and a non-abrasive cleaner such as Bonami are used to remove any traces of primer. Bump-ons are added to the base to create a finished look. The lid is returned to a freshly primed mold so we can create a finial. We will use beads from our simple round, small ring, and nano bead designs held temporarily in place with dabs of white glue. These large lids are a great canvas for creativity.